The arid deserts of China hold a secret so unbelievable, so surreal, that it has the world's gaze fixed upon it. In this video, we will journey into the heart of this mystery to uncover the truth behind China's incredible feat of turning barren wastelands into thriving forests. What could be the answer to this surreal transformation? How is China reviving life in areas once considered dead? The answer will leave you astounded. With their innovative technologies, sustainable practices, and out-of-the-box thinking, China has found a way to bring hope to areas once thought hopeless. But the story goes beyond that. As we delve deeper, we will uncover secrets that will challenge your every perception about reforestation, the environment, and human ingenuity. Secrets that have been kept hidden for too long. Imagine a world where deserts are not wastelands, but rather they are teeming with life and beauty. This may seem like a distant dream, but China is making it a reality. With their advanced techniques and unique strategies, they are reforesting vast areas of land, once thought uninhabitable. So, why should you stay tuned until the end of this video? Because the consequences of China's groundbreaking work could change the world as we know it, and you won't want to miss the mysterious and intriguing tale of how they are turning deserts into forests and changing the world for the better. Join us on this journey as we discover the secrets behind China's incredible transformation. Imagine waking up on a beautiful day, stepping outside, and feeling like you've been transported to another world. The once lush and vibrant surroundings of your backyard are gone, replaced by a never-ending sea of dunes. Your once familiar surroundings now resemble a desolate wasteland straight out of a post-apocalyptic movie. Unfortunately, this is not just a vivid imagination, but a reality for many regions in China where desertification has become a pressing issue. First, let's talk about the problem at hand. Desertification, in layman's terms, is when a once lush and fertile area transforms into a barren desert. This can happen for a variety of reasons including overgrazing, deforestation, and climate change. In China, the Gobi Desert is the main culprit expanding its reach and gobbling up farmland and forests like a giant sand-eating monster. But of course, China wasn't about to let this desert monster get the best of them. In 1978, they launched the Three North Shelter Forest Program, also known as the Great Green Wall. The goal of this program is to stop the expansion of the Gobi Desert and reforest areas in the northeast, north, and northwest regions. It's like a giant green barrier, keeping the sand monster at bay. Now you may be thinking, planting trees? How boring! But let me tell you that China doesn't do anything half-heartedly. They went all out with this project, planting over 7.88 million hectares of windbreak trees and reversing desertification in over 336,200 square kilometers. This is an area larger than the Philippines, and the results have been staggering, with the northern region's green cover increasing from 5% to 13.5%. But the Great Green Wall isn't just about planting trees, it's also about restoration and conservation. The grasslands in the Los Plateau have seen an increase in coverage by 60%, and the silt buildup in the Yellow River has been significantly reduced. And the Ma Owusu Desert in northern China's Inner Mongolia region has been transformed into a lush forest, with 93.24% of the desert now covered in vegetation. It's like a desert phoenix rising from the ashes. However, not everything has been sunshine and rainbows. The early years of the project saw the adoption of monoculture, leading to reduced biodiversity and spread of plant disease. And according to Jennifer L. Turner, director of the China Environment Forum at the DC-based Woodrow Wilson Center, some of the trees planted during the Great Green Wall project have been neglected and have died. But that hasn't stopped China from continuing its efforts to stem desertification. In the early 2000s, they passed a series of laws aimed at returning farm and grazing lands to their former state of forest cover or grassland. Researchers at Chongqing Jiao Tong University claim to have developed a novel technology that can convert deserts into arable land. Their paste 
made from plant cellulose, was applied to a 1.6 hectare plot in the Ulanbu Desert in the Mongolian Autonomous Region, and over time, the plot was transformed into fertile cropland capable of producing a bounty of tomatoes, rice, watermelons, sunflowers, and corn. A professor at Jiao Tong University highlights the potential cost savings of this method, stating that the cost of artificial materials and machines to transform sand into soil is lower compared to controlled environmental agriculture and reclamation. This Groundbreaking technology works by introducing a paste made from a mix of microorganisms and plant cellulose to sandy soils. The microorganisms in the paste help to fix the sand in place, while the plant cellulose act as a binding agent that promotes soil fertility and water retention. The result is soil that is more resistant to erosion and able to support plant growth even in harsh desert conditions. What's truly remarkable about this technology is its versatility. The paste can be applied to virtually any sandy soil, from deserts and dunes to degraded farmland and industrial wastelands. It can even be used to restore damaged ecosystems, such as those affected by mining or oil drilling. And because it is made from natural materials, it is eco-friendly and sustainable. The potential of this technology is highly remarkable. If we can turn deserts into farmland, we can combat food insecurity and hunger, especially in drought and famine-prone areas. Restoration efforts could also help revive native wildlife, preserving biodiversity and creating habitats for struggling species. It's not just about turning deserts into green oases, it's about saving the world, one desert at a time. With the potential to restore degraded land, mitigate the effects of climate change, reduce emissions, sequester more carbon, and even conserve water resources, this technology is like a superhero. But instead of a cape, it has a watering can. The future holds many exciting possibilities for this technology. If we can successfully convert deserts into arable land here on Earth, then why not on other planets as well? Imagine being able to grow crops on Mars and potentially even establish a self-sustaining colony there. The possibilities are truly mind-boggling. Of course, we are still a long way from colonizing Mars, but the idea of turning its barren wastelands into lush, productive farmland is a tantalizing one. Sure, the conditions on Mars are different from Earth, and sure, it will require a different set of technologies, but the possibility is still there. Imagine all the fertile land that could be created and the food that could be grown in areas that were once thought to be inhospitable to agriculture. The impact on global food security and sustainability could be massive. However, let's go back to our planet. It's also important to remember that deserts play a vital role in maintaining the delicate balance of our planet's ecosystems. They serve as carbon sinks, helping to regulate the Earth's temperature and providing habitat for unique and often threatened species. So converting all deserts into forests without considering their unique ecological role may not be the best option either. There must be a balance, a way to harness the benefits of this technology while also preserving the unique qualities of deserts. As technology and our understanding of the world continues to progress, who knows what new possibilities may arise? Perhaps one day we'll even be able to enjoy sun-ripened tomatoes grown on the sands of Mars, thanks to this incredible paste. The future is full of exciting potential, and it's always worth keeping an eye out for what might come next.